Hey everyone, welcome to Popular Cruising. I am your host, Jason Leppert, here with a review of Windstar Cruises Star Legend. This is a ship that's slated to be stretched and enhanced as part of the $250 million Star Plus initiative. So while the ship is already fantastic, we'll be sure to point out those areas that will be enhanced further come June of 2020. Starting as we usually do with its accommodations. My wife and I specifically enjoyed a very comfortable balcony suite, which as you might anticipate is indeed teddy bear approved. The thing that first stood out to us was really just how spacious the room is overall. By the way, if you happen to recognize this ship at all from the movies, it's because it starred in Speed 2 Cruise Control back when it was the Seaborn Legend. It's always lovely to have a separate living and dining area, which is perfect for taking in room service, which wonderfully includes main dining room dinner menus. And although relatively small, it is nice to have a balcony for taking in the fresh air. Not to mention the spectacular views of Alaska. It really is God's country up here. Regarding the television here, one of the improvements that's coming is more convenient on-demand programming in lieu of DVDs, but you can be sure that these wonderful walk-in closets are going to be maintained, as well as great nautical touches like these dials. But what is going to change is a complete redesign of the existing bathrooms, which already feature sublime L'Occitane toiletries, but will soon be modernized away from the white marble. And of course, for even more space options include the classic suite. Or alternatively, the even larger owner suite with spectacular wraparound windows. When you're ready to book your Windstar cruise to Alaska, or anywhere else in the world for that matter, we recommend our sponsor, Fairy Godmother Vacations, who will take care of all your trip planning needs at no extra cost, adding even more magical value. So for your free quote, click on the link in the description box, or visit the website, call the number, or message the email address below. For a smaller ship, we must say there are many activities to be enjoyed on board, including taking in the passing scenery from the Yacht Club Cafe. As observation lounges go, this one is nice and cozy. However, it does fill up quite quickly. With passengers both lounging about and grabbing snacks. But there is still plenty of overflow room on the outside when beautiful surroundings beckon. As seen here in Wrangell, Alaska. At the moment, the ship showcases a small countercurrent pool and roll pool. But this is one deck area that is about to be improved dramatically when the new 84 foot section is added. With a larger and chic infinity style pool, and much more space for expanded deck barbecues and loungers. Also enlarged will be the currently small fitness center, which will come to feature a separate motion studio. And the wind spa facilities will also be bigger. But I must say, I had one of the best massages ever in the existing ones. And the beauty salon is already quite spacious. With several different treatment stations. Wrapping around the spa is the teak clad promenade deck. Which leads to the navigation bridge, which is nicely open to guests to scope out. And also available to access is all this additional deck space in front. Cinephiles will recognize this spot as where actor Willem Dafoe's character confronted the captain. Also featured in Speed 2 is the ship's signature atrium. The existing retail shop will eventually be displaced by a new Spanish tapas restaurant, called Quadro 44 by Anthony Sasso. and then the larger, new signature shop will take over the library. As we mentioned earlier, these DVDs will no longer be needed because in the staterooms will be fresh on-demand programming, and the books will be relocated to the observation lounge. Also already taken out is the ship's former casino, which will make for even more usable space in Compass Rose. And just down one deck is where you'll find the destination services and reception desks. which are staffed by Windstar's super friendly and never pretentious crew. For those looking for an alternative to the main pool deck, there's also a great whirlpool nestled in the bow. 
and it's also set to be refurbished. So those taking a dip can enjoy scenery like this. As I'm sure you've heard, fine dining is a hallmark of Windstar Cruises. And that honestly includes everything, down to breakfast and midday snacks at the Yacht Club Cafe, where sandwiches are always delicious. Or you may opt to grab a drink at the Star Bar outside. Yet another memorable setting from Speed 2. Just picture Sandra Bullock and Jason Patrick here, where we enjoyed tasty goulash soup on a cold day as well as warm glue vine during another afternoon. Some of the aforementioned deck barbecues had to be taken on the inside because of rainy weather, but they were still highlights of our cruise, including a Mexican buffet, which is often a miss on mainstream cruise ships. But Windstar nailed it hands down with authentic flavors, a full taco bar, and even a churro and ice cream station. Ooh yeah, doesn't that look good? But that was just one of several. Now check out this spread. Complete with suckling pig. A juicy flank steak carving station. And a monster dessert bar with a giant banana pie. You can picture the minions now going banana. The veranda is the ship's buffet during the day, and the specialty candles restaurant at night. At the moment, interior space is rather tight, but there's more to go around outside. And what is currently the alfresco courtyard will be expanded and brought inside to make room for a much enlarged and redesigned veranda space. In either case, the food here is already wonderful. Including fresh risotto prepared on the spot. Similarly made to order omelets. And gourmet hamburgers. But the highlight here are dinners from candles, with mouth-watering dishes like these. And for washing it down with the likes of our favorite Veuve Clicquot, there's Compass Rose. Equal parts bar and social gathering space. Complete with live music. Of course, it's Windstar Cruises association with the James Beard Foundation that makes its food so spectacular, like in the Amphora main restaurant, which will remarkably be entirely rebuilt as this space will become home to new cabins. But even more important than the hardware is the software and cuisine itself, like expertly prepared breakfast courses and signature dinner dishes such as these. And don't forget that room service is also exceptional. From quesadillas to hamburgers. As well as the delightful option to order fresh popcorn. To accompany a film screening in your suite. Entertainment wise, live music can be enjoyed in the Compass Rose. Which is also available for dancing. Bands here provide relaxing backing tunes. And the expedition team and staff come together for playful renditions of Liars Club, which is always a hilarious activity. Otherwise, the main lounge is where you'll find trivia and expedition lectures, 
as well as the excellent Crew Talent Show. But don't expect to see much in the way of full-scale productions as on larger ships. Here things are casual and more intimate, with an appropriate emphasis on the expedition team and off-board excursions. The team also has its own office, for guests to mingle with the experts, which also doubles as a screening room. When the observation lounge gets busy, this is a great, alternative, quiet spot. However, there are plenty of excellent excursions to take you off the ship, especially in Alaska. And the Speed 2 featured water sports platform is where many of them launch from. From kayaking to tendering. One of the concierge collection tours we took was the Wrangell Glacier Jet Boat. Checking out the area's otherworldly fog. And other natural wonders like these. Talk about getting up close and personal with that waterfall. As well as Bergy Bits. Full on icebergs. And massive glaciers themselves. We even got to see and feel glacial ice. and take in the natural drama that surrounded us, like stunning glacial calving, and abundant wildlife, all at an unbelievable scale, before returning home to our ship. But easily the best excursions were the Windstar signature expeditions that left directly from the ship, like the expert-guided Misty Fjord Zodiac Tour, which was indeed misty, making for a mysterious atmosphere. Again with breathtaking flora and fauna. Including many majestic waterfalls. Not even a stone's throw away. The sights were just phenomenal. Encompassing regal bald eagles. And playful seals. But if I had to choose a favorite, it would be the Tracy Arm Zodiac, complete with mountain goats and more seals. also available by Kayak. Not only did the Zodiacs give us a great view of the Star Legend, but also of the South Sawyer Glacier. And it's subtle calving at first, and then monstrous calving as a giant shooter emerged from below the surface. All we could say was, wow. Later we got to see the massive piece float away. look at some other bergs closer up. Every single one is a natural work of art. But we'll never forget waving hello to the dramatic face of the glacier. Before it gave us one spectacular send-off, seen here in slow motion. What a day, and what a cruise. 
Suffice it to say, we cannot wait to get back on board. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel while hitting that bell icon to be notified of new videos. And if you would give us a thumbs up, check out our other videos and visit popularcruising.com.